Welcome to Portal 7. In this video I will show you how you can uninstall any software completely from your computer. There are many softwares that even after uninstalling, keeps showing its presence on your computer. Mainly antiviruses. Some antiviruses and softwares are such that even after uninstalling them, you can see them somewhere in your computer. If this happens, it must have come in your mind that, whether it is a virus or not. Today I will tell you the process of uninstalling them completely through this video. There are three to four procedures that you should follow if you are facing this kind of issue. Normally, whenever we uninstall any software, we go to the control panel. Click on category view and choose small icon or large icon view. Now click on the program and feature option. Here you see a list of all the software that is installed on your computer. From here you select the software and uninstall them. And that particular selected software starts uninstalling from your system. And that process gets completed once, but what happens sometimes, even after this process, you see that software in a shortcut or a file, an icon or in the toolbar, etc. Why does this happen? This is because when you are installing any software, it is not necessary that that software should be installed directly in the program files itself. There are many such software which are installed by going to some other directory instead of program files. Or some software creates its own cache, which are automatically saved or installed in the cache folder. That don't remove completely after uninstallation process. So you have to remove them manually. When you install any software, it makes its registry too. So you have to remove that registry also. After uninstalling the software, which process you have to follow? Let's see. Here in the file of Notepad, I have written the names of some folders here. You can see percent program files percent, percent program files, x86, percent, app data. These are three folder names, you have to copy them. These are called environment variables which belong to their path. You have to copy these one by one. And paste it and run, win plus r, command. Copy paste and press OK. It will directly open the program files folder. Whether you are using 32-bit or 64-bit, you will directly reach this folder. Here you have to search the folder name of that software, which is visible to you even after uninstalling. If you find that, then delete it. After this you can close this program files folder. Next, if you are using 64-bit based OS, then there are many softwares which install up, even though they are 32-bit based. So in that case, this time you will copy percent program files, x86, percent and paste it in the run command. By pressing the OK button, this folder will open. If you did not find that folder in the first option, then it will be found here. And if it is found then it has to be deleted. And if it is not found here too. Then after that the third option is percent app data percent. Which is a cache folder, where all the folders caches are created. Go to run command and type percent app data percent and press OK. After opening it, you have to find the folder that you are looking for complete uninstall. If you found that folder here, then you have to delete it permanently by pressing shift plus delete button. Deleting from here means that you have deleted the cache file of that software. In this process, if you find your target folder in all these three folders, then you must delete it. After following this process, you have to move towards the next step, which is the registry. Whenever you install any software, it creates its registry. If you want to remove any software completely, then you have to remove its registry as well. So what would that registry be? This is the registry what you see on the screen. To access these registry addresses, you have to go to the run command and type REGEDIT and press enter. As you press enter, the registry editor tool will open on your screen. Here you will get an address bar like this. You have to copy this first registry address. Paste it in address bar and press enter. Here, in the software, you can see here the complete list which software is installed in your system. From here you have to find the software which is not getting uninstalled or deleted. Here you have to find it and delete it. To delete, right-click on it and choose Delete. If deleting does not delete, then you have to go to Permissions. 
in permission dialog box, allow full control to your current user. After that you will be able to delete. So in this way you have to delete the key folder of your respective software. Moving on to the second registry address. You may not find your software in the first registry address. So you have to go to another address. Same process has to be followed. You have to copy this registry address and paste it in the address bar. And press enter. Here also, you can see a list of softwares. Here you have to find the software you are looking for. So here also you will go through the same process, if found, then you will delete it. If it is not getting deleted, then after setting the permission, you will be able to delete it. After this, you have to follow the third option from the same process. Here also you will get the list of software. Repeat same process. If you are using 64-bit OS, then there is one more registry address, you have to check this also. 32-bit based OS does not have this address. By copying this address, you have to follow the same process that I have just told. Here also you will get the list of software. Your target is to find the folder and delete it. So this is the process of deleting the registry. After this there are two more folders which you have to clear. You will find these two folders. Temp. And. Percent temp percent. One is your system temp folder, and another is user temp folder. So you have to go to the direct run command and type temp. Here you will delete all, by pressing Ctrl plus A and Shift plus Del. No file on your system, will be harmed by this. Just temporary file will be deleted. And you can skip or ignore what is not getting deleted. Next you will open the run command again, by pressing Windows plus R. And this time type percent temp percent. Here also you will delete all files and folders. So this way by using these process, you can remove any software completely. To see more videos like this, please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.